good morning. Now, although I'm lakeside today, this video is not gonna to correspond to this lake behind me here. Hopefully this is a little something for you all next week, being that I catch, of course. Um, in this episode, what I'm gonna do is take you back to last week where I had the opportunity to spend a day on a new lake for me. Um, I've had a few requests come in asking me to get in and around Norwich, Norfolk and a few other areas and try out a few day ticket lakes, which is exactly what I'm now trying to do. So last week, I fished Barford Lakes, uh, Barford Fisheries, I'm not too sure what, what the actual title is, but it's something along those lines. Uh, gave me a good opportunity to try out the new gear, which I recently won. If you haven't seen the unboxing to that, I'll pop the link below, as well as the link for the fishery as well. All in all, a good day's fishing, uh, some lovely catches. I don't want to spoil too much though, so I'll let you check it out in the video. Um, one last quick one, the channel is growing really, really quickly, so I just want to thank everyone for all the love and support. Uh, it means a lot, and obviously I'll carry on putting new videos on the channel every week. Cheers. Little skimper brain. Uh, come here. Don't think your brain. Do you want to nah. <laughs> He's not worth being weighed, is he? Let's be honest. Nice condition, though. Not mark on him. Um, yeah, would you mind just taking the other one over my head? Oh. He's gone right up the other end of the lake. Let's get a bit more tension on him, I think. Yeah, sunken bread underneath the float. Jeez Louise. Yeah. Um, I don't think so. I think that's one of the spooked. Can you see the one I'm on? Does it look right? Yeah. Are we talking a double or not? Tell you what, this rod is lovely. <laughs> it's finally nice to catch a fish on it. First time using it. Thought I was just going to end up with a bream. Do you reckon? Well, a bit better than the bream, hey? No, just fishing with a float. So it's about a foot and a half under the surface. What have we got then? He's decided he doesn't want to get close, hasn't he? I'm not too sure, it looks alright though, doesn't it? We got a mirror? Yeah, that looks like quite a nice mirror that does. Cheers. Thank you. Last minute, look, there we go, look, last wind, as always. <laughs> yes, mirror. Looks like it's going to be a double. Not ready at all yet. A nice old curve in it, isn't it? Definitely put a bend in the rod today, anyway. Definitely put an ache in the forearm and all, I'll tell you that much. There we go. There 
there we go. Thank you very much. Best cup of the session so far. Lovely mirror, approximately 18 pounds. Come down from it. Won't keep still for a second. <laughs> there we go. Gorgeous fish. Let's get him back. Yes. <clears throat> cheese sandwich. No, just under, literally just under, falling through. <laughs> I think I've got a common this time. I've not had a common this season. No, all, all mirrors. Well, this one's just rolling over, isn't it? It's not. Well, he's a bit smaller than the last one. Looks nice though. Looks lovely. As soon as he gets near that blooming net. No, it's not got enough black on it, is it? Hey! A proper angry fish. A proper angry fish. Fish number two. Oh, oh, oh. Not a happy chap. They're beautiful. Common. We'll get this one weighed, see what he is, and then we'll watch him swim off. Fell to a cheese sandwich. The, the sunken boily of cheese. How's a sunken cheese, uh, cheese sandwich boily, that one? I nearly lost my rod. I literally just sorted out that because I just had a run on the other rod and lost it, so I was then re-rigging that one.
first fish of the day. Another little common. A lot smaller than the others, but we'll get this one straight back in and see if we can get another before we finish off. I'm in again. <laughs> Not gonna be anything special. I think it's more than likely gonna be a bream or something. Oh, it's another bream. I mean, yes, it's another bream. Double take. Bream and a carp in the net. There goes one. I think it is a bream. It's not very big. Doesn't feel heavy. My well, hempsey's brought all the carp to the yard. Doesn't feel big, but it's just putting up a fight. I haven't actually seen it yet. <laughs> nope, scared of the net. Another fish. Can you take it? Literally just flicked it, it touched the water and it just took it. That's tiny. It's not even taking any drag, is it? I reckon this is another mirror because they seem to fight a bit more than the commons did earlier. I think this is going to be another mirror because it's fighting well again for its size. It doesn't feel very big at all.
Fish number seven. Uh, another nice little mirror. Fish how many? What? Number seven. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's on the video. Switch it over. That's really dug itself into that bed, yeah. I might go and wave a net near it, I might have the same fear as all the other ones and just start running away. Ooh, no banks there. There's definitely no banks there. Oh, yeah, I told you. Put a net near it and I'll start getting scared. Staying deep, isn't he? Here, a little dinky common. Whoop, nearly went in. <coughs> Lovely little fish again. Now look, on a boilie. For his size, he's quite chunky. Yeah. I think that boy looks about the same bloody size as his mouth. Yeah. He obviously likes that mixture. Fish number eight. Here we go. The ground bait mix I used on my feeder consisted primarily of dynamite baits big feed carp and barbel mix, which is a frenzied hemp and rain halibut flavoured paste. I mixed that with some whole hemp seeds and some four mil halibut pellets. I decided not to use a mould for this as I wanted to pack more, as much onto the method feeder as possible. I created a small indent with my thumb, which I placed the boilie into. I nipped that so it would hold together well on the cast. Links to all of the products used can be found just below the video. Did you hear that just creeping off? <laughs> Told you he kept sniffing up right on this edge, didn't I? Doesn't feel very big this one. Just took off, just took off in one sudden burst. That was all. I tell you, these boilies are doing the job this afternoon, aren't they? Common. I caught a glimpse of it. Oh, that's a lovely one as well. Did you look at that. Nice common, isn't it? How do you know? Look, the big ones are now coming out. How many is that between us? 14? Crane, you've had whatever you've... Must be, oh, what's this, my tent? <laughs> Got a nice old shoulder on him, hasn't he? No, he looks knackered. Maybe he thought he was off on a home run. Alright, there we go. Now he wakes up. Oh, too late to wake up now, mate. You're, you're bagged.
so there you have it all in all a brilliant day's fishing down at Barford Fisheries in Norwich if you haven't already get down there check it out day ticket I believe runs you for about nine pounds and there's a tackle shop on site uh, you do have to use their own pellets and there are a few different rules but they're all posted on their website and they'll also give you a copy of those in the shop if it's your first time fishing there gave me a really good opportunity to try out the new rods as well and overall I have to say I'm really impressed with the Daiwa Black Widow G50 three pound test curve rods. I thought they may be a little bit stiff for, for the size of carp I was targeting that day um, but they do give a lovely bend right across the centre flank when you strike into the fish which obviously supports that hook hold and as the fish comes in closer the flexibility from the midsection does travel to the tip to support those lunges right under the edge. Um, so all in all, really, really pleased with those. Got a fish behind me, so maybe, maybe you will get this episode next week. Um, and the reels themselves, first time using something without a bait runner facility, but again, really, really happy with those. You may have seen a couple where I struck into them, waiting for the, the bait runner to kick off uh, and forgot to tighten down to them, but no fish lost in the end. So it's just something a little bit different for me. All in all, mega pleased. Um, the one which I, I didn't plan on um, or didn't really think about having because it, it wasn't meant to come to me in, in the first place was the, the Daiwa Tournament ST line. Um, I have to say, I, I think it's by far the best line I've ever had. Uh, absolutely no memory. It comes in like a slate grey colour or like a, cat, a really dark silty weed. Um, and yeah, I'm blown away with the quality of that and it's something I will definitely be buying again. If you are enjoying the videos, um, I do this at the end of all of them give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know where you want me to go, if you want me to review something, or if there's just something you want to see, let me know and I'll do my best to get out and do it. And uh, remember to hit that little subscribe button and the bell icon, which will keep you notified whenever new videos drop on weekly. Cheers, I'll see you in the next one.